This lesson is going to introduce you to purpose clauses, sometimes called final clauses, uh, and this has to do with, with grammatical terms of the goal, uh, the, and, and this is from the Latin finis, end or goal of something. It explains why something is done. In English, um, I watch TV to entertain myself. That is, this to entertain myself is your purpose clause. Now in English, we just use an infinitive. In Greek, we can't do that. Uh, instead, we're going to have to use an entire clause uh, with some word that was going to represent in order that. So let's, uh, before we get to how to say in order that, uh, I want to introduce you to the idea of sequence of moods. Now, you should know by this point uh, the difference between primary and secondary tenses, and you know how to conjugate in the optative and subjunctive. Well, when do we use these different moods, uh, the optative and subjunctive? Well, if the main verb is in a primary tense, and remember primary tenses are present and future, and it'll turn out the perfect, the subordinate clause, that is, the clause in the uh, purpose, the, the verb in the purpose clause, will be in the subjunctive. So subjunctive when main verb is present. And I'm going to refer to main verb as MV. MV is present. We're going to use the subjunctive. And if the main verb is in a secondary tense, these are your past tenses, imperfect uh, pluperfect when we get it, aorist. The subordinate clause verb is in the optative. So main verb, past, optative. All right, now, how do we do purpose clauses? Uh, I should mention that occasionally the subjunctive may be used when the secondary tense is in, uh, when there's a secondary tense main verb. The standard mood you're going to use for purpose clauses is the subjunctive. Generally, that's going to shift to the optative, but the author doesn't have to. So, purpose clauses. Introduced by hina, hos, or hopos. You can use any of these interchangeably. They mean the same thing. And they are going to tell you why something is done. So, erkomai ace ten polen. There's our main clause. I am going to the city. Notice this is a present tense. I'm going to the city in order to hina makomai subjunctive, and it's a subjunctive because this is a present tense here. Makomai tus polemius. I'm going to the city in order to fight the enemy. Now, if this is a past tense like we have here, elthon, I went to the city. Now we have a past tense. Secondary sequence, our main, verb is, our main verb is past tense, our subordinate verb is optative. I went to the city in order to fight the enemy. Our translation doesn't change. But in Greek, it changes to the optative because our main verb is past tense. Another example, O Socrates tauta lege, Socrates says these things, in order that, hos, the young men might learn. Subjunctive, because lege is present tense, primary tense. Change it to past tense, hos Socrates tauta epen, Socrates said these things, in order that, and we could have used hopos here too, the young men, yota, might learn. Optative, because our main verb was in the past tense. So, the easiest way to do purpose is to use hina, hos, or hopos to connect it with a subjunctive or optative verb. There's another way to do it. We can use the future participle, sometimes plus hos. Right? This hos is optional. Where the participle will match the person doing the action. So. I am going into the city 
to fight, and this is a future participle, the enemy. It's, it's nominative singular because it's matching I. Right? I'm going to the city to fight the enemy. And I could, I went to the city, Elthon, Estenpolen, Hos, I use the optional there, in order to fight, still modifying I, in order to fight the enemy. So here, the form doesn't change. Uh, we're just using the future participle. The only thing that's different here is this hos. Uh, here we have another example. Hos Socrates taught to lege. Socrates says these things to the young men. Hos mathe somenois, in order that they might learn. So mathe somenois is modifying neanias. They're the ones going to learn. And hos Socrates taught to epen, tois neanias, mathe somenois. Here we're just leaving the hos out, our main verb. Is past tense, but it doesn't matter. We're still going to use the future participle. Socrates said these things to the young men in order that they might learn. So to recap, we've got two ways to do purpose. We can use hina, hos, or hopos, plus a subjunctive or optative, if the main verb is in the past tense, or we can use the future participle, and you can use hosts if you want to.